I started dating my childhood bully's mother. He has no idea. Now she wants me to come to dinner with her son. That's an awkward high school reunion. You know, <laughs> like, like, it's like, hey, I, we haven't seen each other in 10 years. What have you been doing? I've been doing your mom. <laughs> remember, remember that math class, you know, like, hey, yeah, remember addition and subtraction? Well, how about your mom subtracts this? Dick. <laughs> you know what the answer was? D. That's My how you got D. That extra credit. That's right. Turn those, turn those D's into A's with a little more D's. Ooh. D's nuts. Uh, I thought you were spelling out dad. Oh, that too. <laughs> My D and her A makes me your dad. dad. There we go. All right. So. I'm 24 male, and as a young teen, my bully used to gang up with his friends and bully me for literally no reason. What did they say? You know, g give me your lunch money, punk. Classic. S stop, stop having sex with, with my, my mom. mom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if this was during high school, it would be a whole, a whole different story. That it would. A whole different story. A story of jail time for the mom, <laughs> yeah. you know. And and the guy being a hero in his yeah, yeah. <laughs> He like, like everyone's being bullied. And he's like, finally, someone, someone like shut him down. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's like the best way to get back at a bully yeah, of all time. Yeah, have sex with his to mom. To be honest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah facts. Um, and then become his dad. Yeah. And then be, be like, <laughs> become his dad. you can't be bullied bullying kids at school anymore <laughs> become his dad in high school as yeah. like a 15 year old have you seen you know your mother and i have been talking about your behavior recently it's like he gets into the the, the bullies bullying too many people and they call a parent teacher conference <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's the kid who's being bullied and his mom well we eventually grew up school ended but honestly this bully still f's with me dang about two months ago, I recognized his mom at a bar. Yo. Ooh. So like, so like OP is like, like I recognize this mom target freaking acquired. He knew what he was doing. Yeah. Revenge to the finest. Yes. She's one of those young and hot moms and I'm not the shy loser. I used to be. I Let me not. tell you. Wow. Let me tell you. OP has a glow up. He's just been, he's just been pumping that iron. Yeah. Get ready to pump. <laughs> More iron. <laughs> yeah, that iron thong. <laughs> she doesn't know who I am. But or, she's about to. But she's mm. about to. Gotta get um, a real familiar. And she doesn't know what her son did to me. She was single and we hit it off and she came over to my place that night and I effed her like it was our wedding night. <laughs> it will be soon, I guess. Uh, Hopefully, hey, I mean, I, I hear some wedding bells. I hear wedding bells. <laughs> Even years later, I effing hate her son so much. And effing his mom has been incredible. And even though I did it initially purely for revenge, she's actually a wonderful person. And I want to see where this goes. And oh, hopefully he's catching feelings. He's getting, he's catching feelings for mom over here. Yikes. <gasps> and hopefully at least be able to be civil with him. He's this is beyond revenge at this point. He's like, I want to legitimately potentially build a life with this woman <laughs> yo i wonder if like the revenge makes it that much sweeter to build a life with it. like like yeah. i i think is it the ultimate freaking like the ultimate payback is just like building a very great life with this bully's mom <laughs> and and like i feel like that's part of what the sex is the about because yeah, yeah. it's like it's hard to not make that a factor yeah, you know yeah, what I dude. mean uh, she told me that she has a son around my age early on which I obviously knew and this week she asked since we've been together for a couple months and we're serious if I wanted to meet him this weekend yo dude like op has been waiting for this dude. moment he's <laughs> like I, I, I can't wait to rub it in the bully space <sighs> that I'm boning his mom just the, the sweetest you could not Sweetest plan a better revenge. revenge you could yeah. not plan it. I said, sure. Yeah. Of course, OP did. Mm -hmm. We're having dinner Saturday night, and I'm equally excited and nervous. <laughs> I mean, what's going to happen? Like, Dude, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so excited. To I see. understand why he's excited. I understand why he's nervous. Like, this is like anything could happen. Yeah. Right what, now. What's going to happen when he walks? Like, our hands going to be thrown the second he opens the door. Yeah. It's, it's like, son. <laughs> That's what he has to do. The prodigal son. The prodigal son. 
The prodigal dad has a oh, prodigal dad. Yeah, yes. Yeah, prodigal, prodigal daddy, daddy, baby. I feel bad that this started off as petty revenge because she deserves much better than that. But the fact in her son is an effing prick and a loser. I don't think OP is salty at all. I think he's healed from these. Oh, high yeah. He's clearly wounds. he's he's over. He's it, moved you know? on for totally. sure. I grew up. I got in better shape and I have a decent job and make good money while he still lives with his mommy. It doesn't work at all. Dude, OP's trying to dunk on this kid <laughs> in every way. Like, like <sighs> it, it's not enough for OP that, that this high school bully is just like shit at life. Yeah. He's like, no, I'm going to stick it to your mom too. <laughs> I'm going to become your dad. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Well, he's going to be in for a big surprise this weekend. She mentioned he was already uncomfortable with, with her new boyfriend's age, but which uh, <laughs> like, that's kind of weird. Fair. I mean, like, bro, like imagine like uh, a scenario where like your mom is dating someone your age. That's fucking weird. That's, Oh, that's a weird pill to swallow. That's, that's too tough. That's yeah. too tough to swallow. I'll be like, mom, I mean, my, my parents are happily married. Yeah, yeah. But, but in that hypothetically, case, yeah. hypothetically, I'd be like, mom, like date someone your own age. Like, <laughs> date, date someone who who came out of a vagina after I came out of yours. <laughs> like that. That is the the bare, the bare minimum, minimum requirements here. OK, yeah, I, that's not asking for much, but not not asking for too much. And get, get someone that like got your movie references in your at least 30s or your exactly. 20s, you know? Yeah, yeah. And oh, man, is my guy in for a world of hurt, Sheesh. especially when I eventually become his stepdad, move into that house and tell him he either needs to get a job or get out. Ugh. He's really taking over as man Dude, of the he house. Is, he is stepping up to the plate and Dude, becoming yeah. his man's father. Step, stepping up as a stepdad. As his stepdad, I will not let him be a burden to his mother any longer. And when he hears how vocal his mom is <sighs> during sex, he's going to want me to move Yikes. out anyway. Unless he enjoys hearing me breed with his mother every night. Yikes. <gasps> breed with his mother. Good Yikes. God. The classic Reddit speech. <sighs> This weekend is going to be great. I cannot wait to look him in the face. My God, OP, you are cruel. He is cruel. OP uh, is one cruel man. He like, I feel like for the mom's sake, he should kind of like let it go. A little I mean, bit. like if like if he's actually trying to make it doesn't seem like he's trying to make. I think I think like getting revenge on the bully is priority one, and then. The the, the, the mother with the relationship priority is priority. Got it. We got to uh, flip, we gotta flip yeah, those. Got to flip the priorities. I don't know, but maybe, maybe he just wants to watch this guy suffer. Maybe he believes his priorities are exactly where they want to be. Well, there is an update. Oh shit! So we had the lunch to meet her son yesterday. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I went to her place while he wasn't there for the first time. He knew she was seeing someone younger and didn't like it. And my girlfriend told does me, he, it, does he know how much younger though? Oh, I think he said like around my age, Okay, like okay. the mom's at around my age. And my girlfriend, his mama <laughs> told me it might be awkward, but she didn't know the half of it as she also doesn't know how he used to bully me in high school. Yikes. So right as I walked in, I saw him. He looked like doggy doo doo <laughs> fat balding and pasty wow dude this well, guy's like 24 dude, op hates this guy bro he's relishing in every single little detail of how much he hates this also guy. this guy was a bully because he knew he was gonna grow up and be like a bald fat man by yeah, the age yeah. of 25 exactly like, did he, he, yeah, when you when you know you're gonna peak in high school you gotta take advantage of it you know go all in yeah he looked like he spent the last 12 years smoking pot and jerking off in his mom's basement which he has god Dude, OP is <laughs> just, ruthless. Yeah, just like ruthless. No holds barred over here. Well, the moment he saw me, I could tell he recognized me. I reached out for a handshake and said, Hey, bully, nice to meet you. Oh, bro. OP, bro. OP is like, is in ecstasy right now. <sighs> He's, OP is so happy with himself. Which, again, like the mom wants them to get along. So he's like, He's not doing the mom justice by <laughs> well, right uh, as as uh, like uh, w without the hidden intentions like OP has been a, been perfectly fine to yeah the to, mom to the and mom. to this bully yeah 
you know, it's just, it's just, yeah, the intentions behind it. Yeah. Not, not pure, not pure. Well, he didn't react well. And he started referring to me by my nickname, which he gave me in high school. And I told what is, him, what is the nickname? Like, but thunder. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, but thunder. Yeah, hey, brown going? thunder. Like, or like he like fart, uh, farted in math. Like, Hey, math fart. Like what's up? Fart, farting in math again. <laughs> Pull out your calculator and rip one for me. <laughs> I do. I, I feel like I feel like that insult would just like like completely destroy OP. Yeah, He's yeah. Like, <laughs> I told him, "Oh, it is you, small world." And sorry, I honestly didn't recognize oh, you. Oh, dude, at OP first. Is fighting back, dude. He's we're duking it out. I gave his mom a big kiss as a greeting and he yelled, what the hell? His mom got upset and told him to get it together and stop being rude. Stop it. Not to my precious. I'm imagining Bobby when he's giving like a big kiss to uh, uh, the bully's mom. He's just like looking dead in the yeah, eye he's like, at the bully. He's like, <laughs> she was surprised. And she said, you two went to school together. I said, yeah, small world. She asked if we were friends. And I said, not really. I honestly didn't really know bully that well. He was sitting there fuming and actually got up to leave in the middle of the lunch. So bully's not having it. I don't know how you would have it. Like, even if, even if like, if my mom was dating someone I went to high school with, I would be like, what? I, I would, I would be mad at that person I went to high school. I'm like, dude, yeah, what are you doing? Like, like I need a minute. Stop, stop talking to my mom. <laughs> I did small things like put an arm around his mom or have my hand on her thigh just to F oh, with him, which it clearly did. Okay, dude, now he's, now he's being he's being spiteful. Yeah, I mean, we, we set up the story where he was being spiteful from the very beginning, but I don't know why I expected anything different. <laughs> we made love that night in her bed and I made sure to shake her headboard so he could hear it. Jesus Christ, OP. <gasps> no remorse. I didn't see him the next day, but my girlfriend apologized to me for how rude he was. And I said, it's okay. I know he's clearly had a hard time since high school and seeing someone from that time of his life doing so well would be hard for anyone. Maybe I'll take him out for a beer or something and we can try to get him out of the house and bond with him a bit. And she liked the sound of that. <laughs> This is going to be Dude, fun, guys. OP is playing 4D revenge chess. Oh, he is. He is just puppeteering everything right now. None of this is. Is this ethical? I don't know if this is ethical. Here's where, where it would have been fine. Once he like really caught feelings for the mom, he would come clean to her and be like, listen, yeah. I, you know, I was bullied by your son in, in high school and I would be lying if I didn't admit like part. I was attracted to you, but part of it was like, oh, my gosh, like I get to get this revenge. But like. I really care for you now and like I'm over yeah. that and I want to like mend the bridges. I, I don't think he's actually in this relationship for anything other than revenge. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it. Like based yeah. on the story, it seems like he's just like, yo, I'm just trying to get revenge and I'm going to just do this until my bully's misery. I, I, yeah. Like I wonder if the bully would left and had nothing to do with the mom and they like didn't see each other anymore. Like if if he would still get that much value out of the uh out of the relationship yeah. and maybe he would stay with her but like i think it's like if he really cared about her he would be trying to mend things with the son yeah and he's he does not care no nah, he's he's he's, he's shaking out them for headboards. revenge doing it am i the a-hole for using a safe to stop my boyfriend from stealing from me you know i think there's the obvious question why is your own boyfriend stealing from you because babe <laughs> well we're in a relationship babe. together What's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine. When when you have the OnlyFans, babe, I I earn, I get a commish. I get a commish, babe, because your body parts belong to me, babe. Dude, you, not only is your body an object of my mine, <laughs> but everything but you own is also mine. Your money is mine. Like I, I just don't understand. Well, that's so hard to understand. You know, there's this amazing philosopher that has taught me a lot. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Andrew Tate? He's kind of like Socrates, but Socrates for titties, you know, yeah. Socrates, Socrates, Soccer Tate, Socrates, Tate, 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 Tate,
and I'm earning a lot less than before, so I started to be more cautious about the amount I'm spending. During our relationship, I would usually buy all of his toiletries and most household products. I told him I would not be doing this anymore as I need to cut down on my own spending, and he also works, so he's capable of buying things on his own. Most reasonable thing in the universe. Come on, pay up, dude. I thought we had agreed to do this, but as time has gone, I've noticed all of my expensive skincare and even my own deodorant being used up really quickly. Hey, at least man has a good skincare routine. Yeah, exactly. His skin is flawless. Flawless. Trying to look pretty for you, babe. I asked him multiple times to please not use my stuff, and even bought him his own skincare stuff so he could have his own things. No. Wow, OP no. is way too accommodating. Too accommodating. The thing that set me off was that I had bought myself a $220 face wash that is only supposed to be used sparingly. I have horrible eczema. Is that a, 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 eczema. E- eczema? I have horrible eczema that I have prescriptions for and the products I buy are specifically for my eczema. I hadn't used it in a while and when I picked at the bottle, it was empty. Why? He laughed and said he would replace it and then refused when he learned the price. <laughs> Bro. W- why? Just like ask why? one. Why? But they've already had the conversation where it's they've like, already Stop had the conversation. Shit, dude. And she bought him his own supplies. So he literally yeah. has no excuse whatsoever. Hey, if this ain't a red flag, I don't know what is, man. I took inventory of everything else I owned and found out he had used up to $800 worth of product in around three months. Months. Oh my God! Damn, dude i I hope his skin be glowing, bro. He better be have he's the not nicest looking skin. like a snack, bro. Where is this all going? Out. I know he isn't naive because I tell him the price of everything I get and tell him not to use them. So he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's trying he to knows. get that good good on his skin. I ended up buying a safe that I put under the sink and I put everything I had left inside and hid the key. So when I go to shower and get ready, I can use my own things and not worry about not affording to keep my skin in check. Dude, th- break up with him. This is like you. have This is so bad. You should not have to get a safe. <laughs> imagine. Yeah, imagine your friend was like, oh, yeah, I just had to get a safe. Cause, why? Because like, oh, my boyfriend. Kept stealing, stealing my prescribed my like eczema stuff. It's like, like, dude, bring up with him. It's and it's one thing if it was like just like regular like oh makeup or whatever, but she literally has a, a like a skin condition. When he found out, he lost it and said I was overreacting and that I don't trust him. You have given her every <laughs> reason not to trust you, dude. <laughs> my God, Whoa. it's turned into a massive deal, and my friends think I'm being harsh. I simply cannot afford to keep buying more skincare. I've e- and I've even been hospitalized this year due to a huge flare up I had after running out of the products. He's taking it very seriously and I don't know what else to do as I've already tried asking. Am I the a-hole? Just just pain. I just I mean, my Dude, headache. Also, I mean, what like, what story are the friends getting that they think this is okay? Leave the boyfriend and the friends. All of them. Leave yeah. all of them. Dude, they they uh they don't know what they're saying. God. But John There is an update. Uh Uh-oh. Wow. I didn't think I was going to get so much of a response. Thank you guys for shattering my rose-tinted glasses. Take those glasses off. That's right. (laughs) I had a talk with one of my friends who said they had no idea he was taking more than $10 products, which explains why they all thought I was being harsh. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, we share a friend group, so breaking up was looking really hard. Until I sat him down for a talk to try to convey why I don't trust him anymore and how important my skincare is. The conversation went on for some time and I actually thought he may be turning a new leaf until he told me that in our first year of being together as a couple, when I had a few flare ups before finding some good products that worked for me, he had been taking my oral steroids that I was prescribed with, thinking that it would make him buff at the gym. No. Why are you just taking someone else's prescription, dude? Pain. I feel is incomprehensible. The whole year I battled through with insecurities and unbearable pain because I wasn't able to overcome my flare ups. Honestly, that was the thing that snapped me completely. I'm staying at my friend's house for a week and letting him pack his things and figure out a place to go. Thanks again to everyone who was so kind and helped me realize how stupid I was being. That's what we like to see. Snaps OB, get out of that freaking situation. Jesus. Run. What a terrible dude. And just like, I know we've read a million of these stories, but it just shocks me that these people exist. It's like, yeah. how dumb can you be and terrible? Yeah. But I mean, like, like it's also, I, I imagine it's hard too for OP where it's like, you've lived with this person. You're already in so deep. And then you're like, you're, she's probably making so many excuses on his behalf. 
Of course. Right. But like you always say, the, it's like, how did you not see the red flags before? Two years of a relationship. I think like, I think red flags kind of creep in, dude. I think, I think for Maybe. some people it can like, it can start off small and then it can just keep going. You're like, oh shit. I didn't even realize I was like, it's, it's like, like I think in some relationships you start making like in every relationship you're yeah. making compromises, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Right. And you start making little and little compromises. And at a certain point you like, it, it takes us, it takes like a, a certain amount of like stepping back yeah. to realize how much you've compromised. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you're, when you have perspective, you're like, Oh shit, like this is not okay. This is way more than yeah. I had I ever should have compromised. It's like, you don't see yourself like growing or your hair growing or something. Yeah. But then like in three months it changes drastically or two years or whatever. So it's like, this like, is like, fuck, how did you I can't get see here? it growing every day, but it's just like, it's yeah. Worse. Yeah. I think about some red flags, man. Some red flags, they grow. Well, OP, uh, beat him up. Yeah. You're in a better place though. Kick his face in.